Hi guys, I've just uh, made a video, uploaded it and realised it was like that so I'll make it again but I'll show the tomatoes this time I'm starting to get my tomatoes but they're not growing they're not growing uh, any red I need red tomatoes there's plenty of them though so yeah, I used to keep bonsais on that stand um, but I got rid of them because they were too much hassle and uh, tomatoes are a lot easier so yeah that's my tomatoes and uh, I'll show you the fishies so the fishies are getting big now aren't they I think they're, they're wanting feeding again we've been fed already twice today do you want to get fed again boys do you want to get fed right so I've been to I'll show you the workshop of um, clean the window and then um, clean the door today. I need to re-varnish this door, it's about five years old. So I need to re-sand that down and varnish it at some point. Right, so second time lucky. So I've got a new bandsaw delivered today um, by Axminster Tools. Um, it's got quite a nice uh, fence on it which tightens down and it's solid um, so that's good um, and then that fence comes off and clips on the other way so you can do small cuts which are and then obviously you can raise up the thingy majiggy so you can do you know let's have a look so that needs to be pushed down so anyway so that's ready to go um, I'll show you inside the cabinet. So it's got um, pretty chunky wheels on it. As you see, not a scrap of sawdust. This was actually the shop display, so it was actually made up, as was well, the actual thickness, uh, planar thickness, uh, or planar jointer in America. Uh, that there is the fence. With the table saw or cab miniature cabinet saw um, I've not assembled that it's just plonked on top of each other over there is the is the side like pressed steel side plates to go on the side and back to make it slightly bigger um, but I've not yet um, done that I've built because I assembled this because this came as flat pack I've had to build all this um, I've put these um, removable base so I can wheel it into the middle run some boards and wheel it back and I'm, I've got one more base for that and a base for that so I can wheel them out if I need to it's one of the joys of having a 97 square foot workshop every inch is a thingy I put these sockets up and I just screwed them direct to the pegboard the actual screw holes was like plumb neat so um, there'll be, there'll be, I don't need to tack that cable because there'll be a workbench along here which will cover that with drawers hook pull out which hasn't arrived I'm hoping for tomorrow. I've put, I've managed to get my workbench in now um, and that's good and uh, this is the, um, I put some electrics yesterday but I just did it around the edge pretty lazy to another plug so effectively it's just an extension lead but it's uh, rock solid onto the wall with two inch screws all the way into the wall on big wall plugs so that's not going nowhere so yeah so basically this is where I'm up to I've just had the delivery very very late on afternoon I've just been out for a meal uh, heat, eat, eat out to help out um, and I've got this uh, that looks like quite a heavy duty thingy majiggy so yeah so that's ready to go um yeah that's ready to go so that's ready to go and i've just got to assemble this tomorrow and attach this heavy duty box to the actual cabinet and then i'm ready to go so yeah um getting there now guys um but i'm too tired now i need to have a rest carrying those across a lawn is no fun and um, but i did get some help and thanks to those who give us a hand getting it across so yeah, 97 square metre, um, a square feet, I wish it was 97 square metre, workshop, little blog. So don't forget to leave a comment and tell me what you think. 
I mean, I'm really happy with the band saw. It's not actually the, the cheapest one they do. They do one with um, sort of ceramic wheels, but I didn't like that. I wanted the bearing one, so I went for the trade instead of the um, craft, which is the basic version. I went for the trade on that rather than the craft because, and then I just need to put it on a, a base so I can pull it out if I've got anything needs to be moving it around. But yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. And um, yeah, bye.